invite our speaker, next speaker, Mr. Raghav Mathur, leading energy specialist, ICF. Uh, so I think that uh, everyone has covered uh, everything and not much is left for me. So I'll just make this short. Uh, but I would like to talk about two things. One is that uh, we are talking about CNG a lot and uh, there is a big uh, potential threat to CNG in EVs and then there is a savior which is coming in the name of trucks. So I would like to talk about both of them. And uh, before moving to that, I would talk briefly about ICF, that what ICF is, we do energy consulting and we are uh, located across uh, all continents and majorly we have an India and China office also. So uh, where is the transport sector heading? We see that CNG is going to be the driver of it and a lot of demand is going to come from CNG, but that's also an aspiration. This is what we are thinking about. And, uh, but to make it happen, I think uh, some more steps need to be taken. Just by giving licenses, maybe we might not be able to uh, reach to that demand. So what is government planning right now? They are planning this quadrilateral that we are talking about. And uh, we are working with Gale actively on the market seeding project. Uh, but uh, what is happening is that there are a lot of uh, stakeholders which are, which are very important, like CAM is going to be very important, CGD entities will be important, OEMs will be important to make that happen. Because except for Maruti, we don't see any large OEM selling CNG cars. Now, why is that not happening? So these questions need to be answered when we are looking at the future. What is stopping them to actually come out with something new? So again, the government is pushing both of them, CNG as well as EVs. And maybe one of them is going to win the race, or maybe they will coexist. Uh, in terms of LNG, what we see is that a big quadrilateral is being uh, formed, and companies like IGL, GGL, and many other CGDs are going to come up with LCNG stations, but there are 30 CGD entities, out of which only five or six are actually planning them. Why are others not joining the cause? Why are we working in silos? These are some questions that the CGD industry in general needs to ask, that whether we come together or we keep working alone and have our own separate thoughts and ideas and voices uh, when moving ahead. But uh, we all know that this industry makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of money, there's a lot of commercial angle to it. When we compare it to diesel, we are, we are much cheaper. We can do it. Now, the point is that what is stopping us? What is the enabler that is required uh, from the market or from the government or whatever support we can gather? Now, that support was gathered by EVs. States have come out with policies. States, not, not companies or not anyone else. It is the states, the ministers, which are talking about giving debates to cars, two-wheelers, three-wheelers. We don't hear that in the CNG industry. So how do we convince the state government, the central government, to make that noise for CNG like they're making in EVs? Now, that will be an enabler to, to sustain it, to sustain this business that we are doing right now. Or maybe we'll just die slowly. So what is a step forward? Now, I think we have a domestic gas allocation, and there is a possibility that we will need to keep hold of it. Now, can a single CGD entity keep hold of that? Maybe not. Do we need a CGD body in the, in the future so as to keep that with us? Now, that is something that the CGD industry needs to think about. Now, we need to build that infrastructure faster than what the EVs are doing right now. EVs are getting support from the state governments. We are not, hence. But we have the licenses now. So it's up to us to create the infrastructure, gather the market first, before the EVs come into the picture. Maybe the forum can also initiate talks with some other OEMs, except for Maruti, to actually come out with those variants which are there on road. Once the people start seeing those variants and have trust, then maybe they'll buy more of it. Some other things that maybe the forum can do is talk about uh, STUs and whether these buses can be converted to natural gas before the EV starts penetrating it. In Gujarat, we recently heard that CNG buses are now again getting back to diesel. Now, why is that happening? So, so all these things need to be answered when looking at the future. Although everything is bright in terms of the licensing and everything, but uh, I think the CG industry needs an apex body to actually continue that growth and prosperity that we have seen in the, in the past. That's it. Thank you.
thought last five minutes is something that. Thank you. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have gone and on and on. Thank you, Raghu, and it's really crisp, and the message was very clear.